Since moving into this house at the beginning of 2021, a persistent issue I've had has been getting a decent internet reception in my room. No, it isn't because our internet is bad. When near the router, it works just fine. And this is because while my house isn't big, it's quite deep and my room is literally on the opposite side of the house from where the router is. And it's also quite an old house with thick brick walls. I've tried a few different solutions to get it to work. I've tried Wi-Fi extenders sent to us by our ISP. I've tried power line adapters. And I've also tried using a third party router as a wireless access point. Unfortunately, these solutions have their own problems. For a long time, this poor reception was just an inconvenience, but in recent times, it's really started to get on my nerves, as even downloading a small ISO file takes forever. And if you want to play an online game, forget about it. So recently, I've been thinking about more long-term solutions to this problem, because I don't want to keep flicking between a bunch of solutions that are at best 50% efficient. I just want one system that works. Initially, I thought about buying an access point from Ubiquity, because I figured a designated access point would provide better reception than an access point built into a router. But instead, I opted for this TP-Link S7 Deco Mesh system. This system was not cheap by the way, at least not by my standards, but I think this will be a worthwhile investment. So in the box we have two mesh units, an ethernet cable that runs from one of them into your router, and we have two power supplies. Each unit also has 3 gigabit ethernet ports, which means I can even connect devices that don't have Wi-Fi, such as my server and my desktop computer. This is partially why I chose a mesh system over a designated access point, because even if I can get a better Wi-Fi signal upstairs, I still need a way to connect devices that don't have Wi-Fi to the internet. So how does a mesh Wi-Fi system work? Well, in a mesh Wi-Fi system, each of the units are designed to work together in one unified system. In other words, there's only one SSID, and your device will simply connect to the unit that has the better signal. On the other hand, a Wi-Fi extender will have its own SSID. So if you're moving around your house, your device won't connect to the hotspot that has a better signal like it would in a mesh system. A mesh system can also function independently without the need for a router. You can just plug one of the units into a modem. Now to set up the mesh system, you'll need to download an app on your phone and create a TP-Link account. I wish there was another way to set this up, but it's not the end of the world. At least TP-Link isn't owned by Google or Facebook. Overall, the setup is quite straightforward. Now to analyze the performance, I ran some speed tests on this laptop. These tests were done in my room, as that's the part of the house with a terrible reception. Just connecting to the router provided by my ISP, we get a download speed of 3.3 megabits per second and an upload speed of 10.2, and the latency is an abysmal 421 milliseconds. But on the same laptop and in the same room with the mesh setup, we get 56.9 megs down and 15.6 megs up, and the latency has gone down to just 9 milliseconds. I also retested this with the laptop plugged into the mesh system with an ethernet cable, and went as high as 67.8 up and 16.3 down. Okay, those numbers are all good, but for some real world comparisons, I'm able to download an Arch Linux ISO file in just under 2 minutes. Which doesn't sound crazy, but downloading even small ISO files used to take me anywhere from 15 minutes to half an hour, and sometimes even longer for bigger ISOs. I also managed to download Fall Guys in under 5 minutes. So overall I'm very happy with this system, and I'm honestly surprised by just how well it works. But should you buy one yourself? Well, if you're having issues with your speed, it's important to know whether the problem is your internet connection or your Wi-Fi connection. Believe it or not, these are two different things. An internet connection is the connection between your home and your ISP, while a Wi-Fi connection is the wireless connection between your device and your router. If you find that the speed is fine near your router, but it's weak in other parts of the house, it's most likely an issue with your Wi-Fi connection. However, if you find that you have connection problems all over your house and even have a slow connection over Ethernet, then it's most likely an issue with your internet connection. And your best bet is to get a different internet package, and possibly a different ISP. It's also possible that it's a device specific issue. For example, if your wireless device doesn't support 5 GHz or it doesn't support newer standards like AC or AX, your speed is going to be limited on that device regardless of how good your Wi-Fi setup is. But in my case, I knew the problem was in fact a Wi-Fi problem, and that's why I bought the mesh setup. In any case, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you hated it, that other button seems to work fine. And as always, cheerio.